Welcome to the Splash Live. I'm your host, Maddie Mushkin. As we head into 2022, the Splash Live is your home for live and exclusive Greater West Bloomfield news and interviews. We're here to bring you some of the featured stories and local events to showcase our great community. The Splash Live is now daily, 9.30 to 10 a.m. on Comcast Channel 15 and at t Channel 99. Monday through Friday, we are also live on Civic Center TV com under the live section of your web browser and mobile device. So join us as we take a look at what is happening around our Greater West Bloomfield community. Every week we highlight someone from our Greater West Bloomfield community that is making an impact. We will now be taking submissions for the person of the week through the QR code on the screen to submit an entry. You can scan the QR code on the screen, fill out the short Google form with the person's name, reason that they should be recognized for the person of the week and some contact information for them. These nominations can be educators, students, local businesses, and organizations that you think deserve to be recognized as our person of the week. So you can go ahead and scan that QR code and fill out the short Google form to do that. We are now going to dive into our community events that Greater West Bloomfield has to offer. The first one is the United We Walk event. This was scheduled to happen past Sunday to honor Dr. Martin Luther King Jr. It was canceled due to the rising number of COVID-19 cases in Michigan. They will instead be urging the community members to volunteer around Metro Detroit to honor the legacy of Dr. Martin Luther King throughout the month of January and the rest of the year. They're urging people to volunteer at Focus Hope. They have volunteer opportunities in Inkster, Michigan. They're open Monday through Friday, uh, Monday through Thursday, 8 to 4 p.m. and Friday, uh, 8 to noon. The Hospitality House also has some volunteer and food donation opportunities, as well as the Michigan Community Service Commission. Uh, you can do volunteer service there, as well as the Michigan Humane Society Pet Pantry. You can donate food for pets. The Gray Centers for Hope also has, um, you can buy a meal ticket for the homeless for $2.17. So those are great ways to get uh, volunteer hours in your uh, Metro Detroit community, as well as honoring Dr. Martin Luther King Jr. Our next event that is ongoing is the West Bloomfield Township Public Library virtual events. They have started their virtual programming that includes a variety of interactive events for all ages. Some of those events this week, they have uh, the two positively preschool virtual sessions today at 9.30 as well as at 11 a.m. This program supports preschoolers thriving curiosity with hands-on learning experiences that encourage children to explore and create. They have story time kits that are available for checkout with materials needed for each class. Um, they are recommended for ages three to five years. They also have their 10.30 program tomorrow, the Terrific Tots program, which encourages a love of reading while joining the library staff for a language rich story time. Those story times kits are also available for checkout for the materials that you need. These programs are recommended for ages one to three years. If you'd like to register for any of these classes, you can do so by going to the West Wimbledon Township Public Library website and click on the calendar, uh, calendar events page and you can register through there. Our next event is a Sylvan Salon event. The Sylvan Salon Committee is hosting another salon in January. These salons work to educate the community and create dialogue about social issues and things happening in our community. Their fourth salon will be today on January 18th at Board and Brush Studio. They have a 615 social and a 7 p.m. presentation by attorney Gabby Silver, who works at the University of Michigan's Innocence Clinic. She will be speaking about her work with the innocence community and the wrongfully convicted. She will also be exploring stories of the accused and how they are charged and convicted. Capacity is limited to 30 uh, people, so if you want to reserve your $5 seat and if you want to see if there are any availabilities, you can contact Kelly Krause on the Sylvan Lake Salon Committee. All the proceeds will be added to the Sylvan Summer 2022 Concert Fund. Our last event that is ongoing is a Sylvan Lake game night. This event is perfect if you're looking for something fun to do this winter. Whether you go alone or with friends, the Sylvan Lake game nights are a great way to socialize safely with your neighbors and friends. Sylvan Lake game nights take place every Wednesday when there is not a Sylvan Lake board meeting in the community center. They start at 5.30 and will go to about 9 p.m. This event is open to all Sylvan Lake residents and you're also willing, welcome to bring family and friends They'll also be hosting a special Euchre tournament uh, this Wednesday on January 19th at 6 p.m. sharp. If you're interested in participating, you can contact Amy DeCanter at 574-514-1919 to reserve your spot in the tournament. If you have an event you would like us to feature, you can send us a message on our social media pages at Civic Center TV and Facebook at Civic Center TV 15. 
We're now going to take a look at it, the United We Walk expression contest winners that started, uh, that the contest winners shared what Martin Luther King Jr.'s legacy means to them. Ava and James were the winners this year, so we want to take a look at what they had to say about Dr. Martin Luther King Jr., how his legacy has affected them, and what MLK Day means to them. This January, the United We Walk Foundation is celebrating MLK Day by holding a contest for children all around West Bloomfield, asking just one question. What does the legacy of Dr. Martin Luther King Jr. mean to you? The winners for this year's contest were Ava and James. Let's hear their answers. Almost 60 years ago, in 1963, Dr. Martin Luther King gave his famous I Have a Dream speech. He talked about what he believed in and why he marched and protested. Dr. King's legacy means to me that I can go to any school I want to, be friends with anybody I want to, and have the same equal rights as everyone else. Much of his legacy is so important because of what he did to change the lives of all people, particularly black and brown people. So when I think of Dr. King's speech, I hear him saying many reasons why his legacy affects me. Dr. King made it so I can stand up for what I believe in and I can be a voice for others. Dr. King said that one day, children including me will not be judged by the color of our skin, but by our character. As an African American nine-year-old girl, I am already planning ways to leave my mark on this world. I am one of the children who are living out his legacy in school with all my friends, no matter what color their skin is. Dr. King risked his life so African Americans could have freedom and equality. I'm going to make sure I do my part by being a good person and treating others the way I would like to be treated. The laws were changed and my parents can vote. I can get a job and do many things that my, es that my ancestors could not do because of the color of their skin. Dr. King's legacy will live on forever and impact my life in positive ways. Thank you. Thank you to Ava, James, and the rest of the competitors for all of your wonderful submissions. Reporting for The Splash, I'm Calvin Brown. Thank you to Ava and James for sharing what Dr. Martin Luther King Jr.'s legacy means to them and congratulations for winning the Expressions Contest. We're going to take a short break, but when we return, we will be joined by Gail Taub, who is a fitness trainer and nutrition coach for Gazelle Health, who teaches health and wellness coaching through her personal training practice. So don't go anywhere. After the short break, we'll talk to Gail. We'll be right back with The Splash Live. In the face of COVID-19, staying healthy is important. And now the same is true as we face the flu. Influenza has the potential to infect millions, putting lives and the healthcare system at risk. Fortunately, it's easy to protect yourself. The flu vaccine is safe and effective. And with COVID-19 still spreading, it's essential. To see how you can hit this virus head on, visit michigan.gov slash flu. Can I ask you a question? Uh, Why do you want to get the COVID-19 vaccine? I don't like getting sick. The virus will die. It will be easy to not catch it. Keep my family safe and keep playing soccer because I love being vaccinated. What's your hope for everyone? I hope everybody gets the vaccine. To keep safe and strong. Be like happy, having fun everywhere. Everyone stay safe and hope you get the vaccine. And now, back to The Splash Live. Welcome back to The Splash Live. I'm your host, Maddie Muschin. It is now time to talk to Gail Taub. She is a fitness trainer and nutrition coach for Gazelle Health to tell us a little bit about her business, Gazelle Health, and her mission to help others who are ready to make positive, long-lasting changes in their own life. Thank you so much for joining us this morning, Gail. 
Good morning, how are you? Thanks for having me. No problem. So Gail, can you start off by telling us a little bit about the inspiration behind Gazelle Health and how you got into personal training and nutrition? Yeah, so after about 27 years in uh, business, corporate America, I decided to leave that kind of uh, my career behind. And um, about 12 years ago, um, I got my own health and wellness under um, control. I made a lot of big changes and I realized that there was an opportunity to help people um, but maybe a little differently than what is currently out there. So instead of kind of going the route of helping people to know what to do by telling them what to do, what to eat, what is good for them, how to lose a pound, how to feel healthy in a way that makes sense for them, I went the route of coaching. And um, so really from the perspective of health and wellness, everybody's needs are different and I'm qualified and certified to help in any way that that is necessary for that person. And the ultimate goal is really to have them be autonomous, really to teach them how to listen to themselves and make their own decisions about what is right for them. And Gail, could you give us a little bit of a breakdown on how a new client would get set up with you and those initial conversations to get them started in your programs and give us a little bit of an overview on some of the services that you provide? Sure, sure. So uh, starting with the services, really health and wellness is the umbrella under which I work. So if you're looking for a change or improvement, um, uh, in your fitness, uh, you can see I have a home gym. Uh, people come to my home, it's one-on-one. -on -one. Uh, I also work in people's homes or virtually. Um, I, I tech, uh, Most of the time I'm working one-on-one -on -one with people so that whatever we're doing can target them um, personally instead of in a group setting. Um, secondly, uh, if you feel like you need help with uh, your eating, you're not quite sure um, with all the information overload out there, how to really uh, modify your diet so that it can serve you well and you reach the goals that are important to you, I can be um, there for you in that way. Um, I have programs in each of those type of um, those buckets. Um, thirdly, for personal coaching, maybe it's an overarching need of health and wellness and habits and ideas about what you want to look like in a year or two and help you march toward that. And that could be just professional performance, that could be life performance uh, and health and wellness for yourself all included. Um, so in order to kind of get in touch with me, the very first thing that I like to do with people is have a conversation. It's risk-free, it's a conversation. You share your experiences, what it is that is important to you. Um, I ask you some questions. You get to ask me lots of questions. We get to know each other. There's absolutely no fee or risk for that conversation. And from there, we make decisions on what is right for you. Uh, and we go through, um, you know, uh, if it's the personal coaching, the life coaching, the nutrition coaching, or the um, fitness. And I will tell you that some people start out in one area and they move to others. And we could start wherever it makes sense. Gail, can you tell us a little bit also with the ongoing pandemic, how that has shifted the ways in which you serve your clients that you work with? Oh boy, the pandemic. So um, I think the easiest way to say this is people's lives have changed, period. And everybody's lives have changed differently. Um, and with that comes routines that have been broken and maybe not gone back to because of comfort levels or going to a gym or eating from your home or working from home. It really, you know, everybody's life has absolutely changed, but everybody's life has changed differently. So I would say the biggest thing for me is my ability to work with people without being in the same room. I have lots of clients that either are fitness or coaching in some way that we work through virtual. Uh, it's still one-on-one, -on -one. it's very personal. Um, you can be anywhere in the world uh, to do the fitness training. Uh, it's safe and wonderful and it makes a lot of sense for people. That door has been opened and has stayed open since day one of the pandemic and people are really leveraging the idea of being on the phone or uh, uh, virtual as one other way of getting themselves where they need and want to be on their terms. Well, Gail, thank you so much for joining us this morning and sharing us 
uh, some information about Gazelle Health and a little bit of your background. You know what, I missed the first part of that question. Can you repeat? That was saying thank you so much for joining us this morning and giving us a little bit of background into Gazelle Health and a little bit of your background. Oh, you're welcome, you're welcome. Good. Once again, I was joined by Gail Taub. She is the owner of Gazelle Health, a personal trainer as well as a nutrition coach. We're now going to check out the West Bloomfield High School women's basketball varsity team. We talked to head coach Darren McAllister and one of their star players, Mayana Hooper, about how this season is going and how they are making an impact in their division. Splash reporter Brennan Schreiber went to their practice and talked to the coach as well as saw as some of the couple of their players before they headed out to play Grove. So Brendan Schreiber has that story now. What's going on West Bloomfield? Here at the Splash, we were curious to see how the women's basketball team over at West Bloomfield High School was performing this season. So we went over and talked to coach Darren McAllister and women's basketball player Mayana Hooper to get the scoop. Women's basketball here at West Bloomfield High School is well underway. Women's basketball coach Darren McAllister was kind enough to discuss how his first season as coach is going so far. So far, so far, so good. Um, we started out a little slow, but that's to be expected with a uh, with a new coach and they're learning the system and so forth. But uh, for the most part, the players are bought in. Um, they're working hard every day, and they're starting starting to see some success. But at the same time, uh, we're, we're striving for perfection, so we're going to continue to work hard and continue to try and get better. During our interview with Darren, we also asked him about the talented players on the team. Yeah, it's, it's been a pleasure coaching this team. Um, we have some experienced players back. Uh, we have some young, we have a mixture of young players and, and some seniors. Um, it's been pretty fun coaching uh, Mayana, who is our senior point guard. Um, the Davis twins, uh, India and Summer, uh, really give us, you know, they, they give us a punch every time they're, uh, they're on the court as far as practice or the game. Um, Sydney, uh, Sydney Hendricks has been a monster. He's coming back from her injury. It's a little slow, but she's she starting to get it. And then we have some, some other players that's filling their role and, and really making us complete as a team. So it's just great coaching from player one through player 12. And everybody's starting to buy in, understand their role, and we're getting better and better after every game and every practice. While at West Bloomfield High School, we were lucky to interview women's basketball player Mayana Hooper and asked about her experience playing basketball through the pandemic. Um, it's been tough, but I feel like we was able to pull through, through all the rough patches, even with COVID going around. Um, you know, it's just a big change, and it's a minor setback to a major comeback. So hopefully we can hit the state champs this year and win a ring. And finally, Coach Darren and Mayana talked about their upcoming matchup and future of the season. Yeah, our, our next matchup is against Birmingham Groves. Uh, we pretty much know that uh, Everybody in our conference is, is pretty tough. And we also know that every time we play somebody, we're, we're probably going to get their, their best game. So we expect that. Um, as far as where we want to go, uh, the sky's the limit. But, at the mo but the main thing is we're just focused on the next game. And we're going to take every game by game and, and see where it takes us. Um, a couple of the games have been pretty good so far. Um, it's a lot of stuff we still need to work on as far as all our offenses and defenses. But over time, we're progressing and getting better and better. Um, everybody on the team is like a sisterhood, so everybody is just family. So we treat each other like family whenever we need some, or whenever somebody else needs some, we're there for them. So everything been going good so far with the season. I feel like if we keep doing what we're doing, then we're going to make it to the state champs. Good luck to the women's basketball team over at West Bloomfield High School. Reporting for The Splash, I'm Brendan Schreiber. Thank you to Coach McAllister and Mayana Hooper for letting us take a sneak peek into their practice and good luck with the rest of the season. We are now joined by Morgan Schilling. She is the Business Development Director at the Avalon Assisted Living Facility here in the Greater West Bloomfield area to talk to us about the Avalon and how they're keeping their senior residents safe and active this winter. So thank you so much for joining us this morning, Morgan. Yeah, thank you, Maddie. Morgan, can you start off by explaining to our audience what the Avalon is and how you are serving the Greater West Bloomfield community? Um, maybe talk about some of the residents that you have there and the programs that you offer. Yeah, so our Avalon communities include the Avalon of Auburn Hills, the Avalon of Bloomfield Township, and the Avalon of Commerce Township. And each of our communities has a variety of living options to suit every lifestyle. 
So we offer and provide um, services and amenities catered to the individual for assisted living and memory care. And so our assisted living apartment styles include studios, one bedrooms and two bedrooms equipped with kitchenettes and private bathrooms. And our memory care includes studios and one bedroom floor plans also equipped with a private bathroom. And every apartment is handicap accessible and our teams at each community work to incorporate all comforts of home because after all, this is home for our residents. And part of their lifestyle working or living at the Avalons is um, a full calendar of events, day-to-day -day events and programs. And so we um, have partnered with Tender Hearts and they come in and do activities with our residents. Um, they host programs and um, we have speakers come in. We take our residents on outings. So we take them to Cranbrook Museum. We take them downtown Detroit um, to lunches, movies. They stay busy. Morgan, as the ongoing pandemic has impacted our seniors in the community the most, how has the Avalon seen this impact in your residents and what type of precautions are you taking to ensure that the residents are safe during this pandemic? Yeah, that's a really important um, topic to touch on. The health and safety of our residents and associates in our Avalon communities has always been and remains our top priority. Since the onset of the COVID-19 pandemic, we have proactively implemented additional protocols and precautionary measures for the protection of our residents and associates. And as good neighbors in our communities, we know that communication with residents, their loved ones, our associates and our amazing support teams has been critical. So we do remain dedicated to providing virtual connection and communication whenever possible. And um, it has been a challenging time for everyone. So um, our amazing community teams have really remained vigilant in their emergency preparedness plans and the protocols we do have in place. And so we are actually fortunate to benefit from great partnerships to help with the many aspects from rapid result COVID-19 testing to educational support from trusted national and international advisors. And at this time, we are following the CDC protocols as well as um, the Michigan Health Department and Oakland County Health Department. Morgan, with there being limitations on what the residents may able be able to do socially during this time. You touched on how the Avalon has a couple of programs and events to make sure that the residents are having a semi-normal year. Can you give us a little bit more detail on those and maybe a couple of things that you have going on this month? Yeah, so there's always something happening at our communities and our doors are always open for the public to schedule a personalized visit anytime even before or after any of our events. And our residents do keep quite busy, so they enjoy a wide variety of engaging, fun, and memorable activities and events every week at our communities. And, you know, that is one thing we always do hear from residents is that they are so glad to be part of a place that feels like home, where there are people with similar interests and hobbies to get to know, connect with, and learn, some, learn from. And so we do really have so much fun at each of our communities. Morgan, if someone was looking to either um, become a resident at Avalon or has a loved one that they think would um, benefit from being a resident at one of the Avalon communities, how would they go about starting that initial conversation and getting either themselves or a loved ones into the Avalon? Yeah, so we always welcome any of our um, visitors and our guests to visit our website at www.gracemanagement.com and they are able to select the community closest to them. Our phone number is listed. Feel free to give us a call. There's also a chat box that you can inquire and talk to a virtual individual on the other end and they can provide you with a little bit more information. And then one of our sales team members will gladly follow up. And we welcome anyone to come in for any of our events, a meal, an activity, or just to hang out and enjoy and see what the lifestyle is like at any of our Avalon communities. And so we do welcome family members, 
volunteers, lecturers to come in and um, either present, host an event with our residents, or just, again, see what the lifestyle is like and if it would be suitable for what they are looking for at this time. Morgan, as we head into 2022, what is the Avalon hoping to get out of this year, whether it's specials for their residents, new programs, or some of the things that they hope that this year will bring for the Avalon? Yeah, so actually starting tomorrow, we will begin hosting our monthly Alzheimer's education programs presented by the Alzheimer's Association. So we've been very fortunate to be able to be a host for the Alzheimer's Association to present on various topics. And each community will also host a caregiver support group designed for family members and caregivers who care for those with memory loss, have dementia, Alzheimer's diagnosis, and both groups will also be offered in person and virtual. And we're constantly adding new stimulating ideas and programs for our residents and family members. And we welcome, again, volunteers, professionals, lecturers, historians, artists to come in and present on engaging topics for our residents. And um, again, if you're curious to learn more about what's going on at the Avalons and are interested in assisted living and memory care options, please visit our community's Facebook pages or come on in and experience it in real life. And we encourage anyone to come for any of our events as well. And the activity calendar is posted on our website for you to choose which event or activity you'd like to join us for. And as for 2022, our hope is to be the best solution for anyone looking for assisted living or memory care options. And as for all of our residents, associates, and families, our hope is that they remain happy, healthy, and safe. Thank you so much for joining us this morning, Morgan. Yeah, thank you so much. Once again, I was joined by Morgan Schilling. She is the Business Development Director for the Avalon of Commerce Township here in the greater West Bloomfield community. That's it for today's show. Thank you to Gail Taub and Morgan Schilling for joining us this morning. And a special thanks to our Zoom producer, Jared Clark, for coordinating the Zoom and making sure our guests joined us as well as a thank you to Calvin Brown, our board operator, for making the show possible each and every morning. Thank you so much for joining me. As we explored all the people and events going on in the greater West Bloomfield community, you can make sure to watch any interviews and stories you miss by visiting civiccentertv.com to watch them online in HD under the Splash Live tab on our website. As always, you can make sure to tune in Monday through Friday on Comcast Channel 15 and at t Channel 99 from 9.30 to 10 to catch up on what is going on in our greater West Bloomfield community. You can also follow us on YouTube, Twitter, and Instagram at Civic Center TV and Facebook at Civic Center TV 15. For all of our friends in Sylvan Lake, Orchard Lake, Kiko Harbor, and West Bloomfield, I'm Maddie Mushkin. Thank you for watching The Splash Live. can't follow on your adventure to the forest today? These flowers represent my love. These stitches and threads join us together. And wherever you see a flower, a bird, a beautiful tree, know that my love is with you. Make the forest part of your story at a park near you. Find one at discovertheforest.org. 72.7% of high school students get less than the recommended 7-9 to nine hours of sleep a night. This can cause pain, obesity, and can very negatively affect your mental health. When you have a consistent 7-9 to nine hours of sleep every day, you get sick less often, lose more weight, and have better relationships with those around you. For more information about the dangers of sleep deprivation, go to sleepfoundation.org. This message is brought to you by the WBHS Digital Media Arts Program in 89.3 Lakes FM. Can I ask you a question? Why did you get your kids vaccinated? It was hard for them to social distance, to be isolated from their friends. I want them to get back to school and sports games. So as a pediatrician, I recommend the vaccine to everyone I know. The boys.